Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 Metro. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 039 underscore DIAB underscore M where you save it. You can also download this file from the website. Go to the project browser and double click the ground floor plan view to open this view. Click the file tab. Have the mouse cursor to save as and click projects. This brings the save project as dialog box. We name this file to 00 underscore 040 underscore DIAB underscore N. Click the save button. This save the file to a new one. Go to the quick access toolbar and select the section command. When you select the section command, Revit allows you to click on one place and drag the cursor to the opposite side to draw the section. Now move the mouse cursor, zoom in into this area, click anywhere around this corridor. I want my section plan to go through this corridor. Click from the left and move your mouse cursor to the right. As you can see, you see the section follow the cursor. Click to place the section. Now the section has a series of parameters that's associated with this command. But you can learn more about this when we greet a tutorial which will be going to focus purely on annotation. For the moment, I just want you to look at a few things to remember. Now the section plan, you see a bounding box points in this direction. Now, if I want to look at another direction, all I need to do, I use the flip arrow. So now the bounding box is at the front of the building then if i click the flip arrow again the bounding box goes back where it was when we did the section plan originally again you see uh, another double arrow circle at the end of the section line this can help you to display the section head for instance if i click this you see the section head is being replaced by a thick line thick vertical line if i click it once more the section line remain open then if I click again, the section head is back. This is a cycle button. You can do the same thing to the other side of the section plan. Now let's see exactly what we have done with this section command. Right click and in the shortcut menu, see, let's go to view. You see, Revit grids a section plan automatically for us. Now you may see something that you may not familiar in a section plan. The reason being that the bounding box you see in the ground floor view was indicates how far you can see the geometry now if i click close this view and select the section plan you see this bounding box the bounding box also has series of arrow you can use this arrow to bring down the section plan or this for to reduce the section plan from the right or from the left so now let's click this arrow and move it down then right click go to view to see the result you see now the, the view is different you can also adjust this in the property palette hold down the scroll bar and change the far clip offset at the moment the far clip offset is 2470 millimeter now let's assume that let's change this far clip offset to 150 millimeter and see the result to see this result you can either click apply or move the cursor away from the pilot for this first one let's click apply and see the result you see you see the changes immediately in the drawing now if we change this to 5000 millimeter this time around instead of clicking apply just move the mouse cursor away from the property palette you see the section plan is updated so it depends how many objects you want to see in the section plan with this section plan you can dimension this section plan and give more detail about the structure to the contractor or the civil engineer at the site if this display is not okay for you the lines are too thin to convey the meaning of the project go down and click the change the detail level view detail level to find and go to the status bar and turn on turn off the turn on the thin line to see the result now the line gets more thicker than it was previously you also see the foundation, the footing, 
and the foundation and the column this way you can dimension and present your project to the contractor for instance if i go to the quick access toolbar and select the align dimension command then select the edge of this concrete and this concrete you see i know that the concrete is 300 millimeter thanks to the section plan it will have been difficult for the contractor to know exactly the thickness of my footing now if i want to go further i want to measure the distance from the footing to the slab i can also select the edge of the slab you see from the footing i have 1350 millimeter again this dimension just for the purpose of this tutorial the depth of foundation will be determined by your structural engineer now click to please click the modify button you may ask yourself a simple question now you see that the foundation always goes through the slab this can be arranged in so many ways now if i select this foundation then go to the modify panel select the attached top base and click on this slab you see rivets clean up the 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 foundation now the foundation attached to the bottom of the slab go to the quick access toolbar and select the measure command measure between two reference now move into the drawing area click the edge of this slab and the edge of this slab as you can see the slab is 150 millimeter now i can select this wall and go to the property palette we have the chop constraint which is ground floor and the chop constraint offset for the moment is zero now let's set this top constraint to minus 150 millimeter and move the mouse cursor away to see the result you can continue as to attach all of this wall at the top base the one that don't accept the command you can use the zoom you can use the top offset of minus 150 or minus the thickness of the slab you can also continue to dimension this section plan as you want let's go back to the ground floor plan view by double clicking the ground floor and draw another section but before we do if you go to the, look at the project browser let me click the minus sign next to the elevation to collapse these stuffs and also next to the floors to collapse this stuff now you have another category which is section building section now if i click the plus sign i have only one section which is section one but sometimes you have a complex building you have so many sections to display the, the detailed models to the contractor now you have section one section two section. it's very difficult for you to understand exactly what section one represents and what section two represents since this section run along the x and y axis if you ever open autocad environment you understand exactly what i'm trying to see so let's rename this section to section xx that's we we know that that is do you know that this is a section goes horizontal along the screen so if we get another section you can rename that section according to the area where we draw that section right click this section and select rename delete the one and turn up your cap lock type x iphem x and click ok now rivet rename this section to section xx go to the quick access toolbar and select the section command again now let's draw another section from this point to this point Revit has uh, has drawn the section for us, but the section orientation, the section orients in the wrong direction. We want to see the left part of the building, not the right part. Now click the flip arrow, right click, and go to view. You see, now you even see the stair gates with the section, with this section. Let's go and rename this section again to section by right clicking the section name and select rename to the window that appear. Click and delete the one turn up your cap lock and rename this section y iframe y this section is now section yy all right we're going to end this tutorial at this point by now you may ask yourself is there any automatic way to get a elevation plan the answer is yes that is what we're going to look at the next tutorial if you like this tutorial please click the like button and share it to your friend if you have any comments or suggestion please leave a comment below if you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel please subscribe thanks very much for watching i hope to see you in the next class goodbye